Welcome to the seventh workout of the Staycation Retreat Series. I encourage you to change your environment by moving your machine, taking it to a different room, maybe creating a different lighting or change up your music for today. Because today's workout will focus on yoga strength. So we'll go through different strength exercises for 10 reps each and then we'll hold a pose for three breaths before moving to the next. So let's go ahead and learn the exercises for today's workout. We'll start out by flowing through a movement sequence that warms up your body, utilizes your breath, and activates your core. So face your total gym, take a deep breath into your nose, reach the arms up overhead, exhale as you fold down, place your hands onto your glide board, open it up, drop your hips and lift up through your chest, keeping your shoulders away from your ears for up dog. Tuck your chin, press back for down dog. Bend the knees, lower the glide board, reach for your ankles, and lift up for chair. Take a deep breath, stand up, lean back, and you repeat that. So again, you reach all the way up overhead, exhale, fold forward, hands come to the glide board, up on your toes, drop the hips, shoulders away from ears, up dog. Tuck the chin, press back for down dog. Lower the glide board, bend the knees, reach up for chair, and you can repeat that flow as many times as you'd like. Then you'll move into the second warm up flow. Keep your glide board closed and step into warrior one. Your hips are square, facing the tower, lean back, Exhale as you drop down into plank, extend the back leg, go into a push-up, and then press into down dog. Roll the body up slowly, and then go into the other side. Step onto the glide board, keeping it closed, hips are square, lean back, take your hands down to the glide board, plank position, one push-up, press back into downward dog. Roll your body up and you can repeat that sequence until your body feels warm. Then you'll move on to the workout. Now that your body's all warmed up, let's move into the yoga strength and core workout. You'll come into a warrior two, so step onto your glide board, open the arms up into the position, gaze at your tower so that your focus and balance stay there. You'll extend the leg and then bend it back in. So your body doesn't move, it's just the leg working through the extension of your quad, you're activating through your glute and hamstring, and you're lengthening through the muscle. So you'll perform these exercises for 10 reps, and then you'll come down and hold a revolving position. You'll hold this for three deep breaths. As you do this, try to lengthen through the back leg, rotate through your torso so you get that nice activation through your core, opening up through the chest, the shoulders, and then carefully come back up into your warrior two, and then you'll change sides. Next is a crescent lunge. Face away from the tower and place one foot onto the glide board. Reach your arms up overhead and find a point to gaze at so it keeps your balance. As you lunge back into the crescent lunge, keep the back leg straight and the hips square. This will help open up through the hip flexor and the thigh and you're activating the glute and the hamstring of the standing leg as you stand back up. So you'll do 10 reps here. After your 10th rep, place your hands down onto the floor and come back into a decline plank position, keeping your shoulders on top of your wrists, your core engaged, and your body's nice and long. Once you've held that for three deep, strong breaths in through your nose and out through your mouth, you'll change legs, bringing your other leg forward and going right back into your crescent lunge for 10 more reps. Next is goddess pose plie. Place one foot onto your glide board and the other onto the floor. Both legs are in external rotation and the knee follows the toes. You'll reach the arms out to the side and keep energy through those arms. Plie down as the glide board rides up the rails, reach the arms up overhead, and then bring the hand into your heart as you stand back up. So you're working your inner thighs, your glutes, you're stabilizing in through the body, keeping your back flat and straight at all times. Once you've done this for 10 reps, you'll extend the leg out, turn the foot in, hips reach out, and then you'll tilt your body down for triangle. You can lift the leg or extend it more up the rails to get more flexibility in through your hamstrings, but you want to feel a nice stretch in through the lateral side of your body, opening up through your chest, your shoulders, and your core. You can also keep the glide board closed, and then you'll change sides. It's really important to keep the back side of your body strong as well as long. So we'll go into cobra extensions. Face your tower and come into a prone position. Place your hands by the rib cage and your elbows are parallel. You'll lead with your nose, then your chin, then your chest up into extension. Hold for a moment. See if you can test your strength by lifting your hands off the glide board, place them back down, and then reverse 
the motion. Again, you're rolling up, leading with your nose, your chin, your chest, holding at the top, keeping your shoulders away from your ears. Test it by lifting your hands, place the hands back down, and then roll your body back down. Once you've done that for 10 reps, you'll bend one foot or two into your hands, and then lift your body as you kick the feet into the hands to open up through your chest, your shoulders, and the whole front side of your body. Now, this is really nice because you can have the help of the incline as you do this pose. You'll hold this for three breaths, and then you'll move on to the next exercise. And the last exercise is both pose roll up. Face away from your tower and come down to a supine position, extending out through your arms and your legs. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Exhale as you articulate and roll the spine up into a V-sit or both toes, reaching your hands towards your ankles, and then roll back down. Exhale, roll it up, hold it for a moment, and then roll it back down. To advance this, you can lift the whole body, keeping the arms and the legs straight, and then reach it back down. Exhale, roll it up, hold, and then come all the way back down. And then once you've done that, Position your body all the way onto your glide board for bridge pose. Roll your spine up, walk your hands in towards each other and clasp your hands underneath of you to stretch and open up through the front side of your body and activate through the back side. Now if you're practicing wheel, you can take your hands, place them on the side of the glide board, keep your hips lifted and press up all the way into your wheel or your back bend. Take three breaths here and then slowly come all the way back down. So the glide board will help you if you're working on your wheel practice. Those are all of the yoga and strength exercises that you will perform for today's workout and it completes the Staycation Retreat series. But stay tuned for the recap of all of the exercises being sequenced together so that you can challenge your body, your mind, and give it one last challenge so that you can perform all the exercises that you learned over this whole Staycation Retreat. Good luck, and I hope it's been a magical journey wherever you're working out.